I wasn't fully ready for it to be a hike up, but I'm at the Bardini Gardens. They have an outdoor cinema up there. I actually went with Daisy and Lily when they were visiting. We saw a, oh, what's that director called? Imagine this was the view from your garden. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, the online community for creative and curious people. So as you guys know, I've been taking painting classes whilst I've been in Florence, but what I love about Skillshare is that you have access to a whole library of classes to fuel your creative interests, no matter where you are. So from fine art classes to graphic design, video editing or creative writing, Skillshare has everything you need to level up your skills or even discover a new passion. And it's not just practical skills you can pick up, I have been loving listening to Nathaniel Drew's Creativity Unleashed. Discover, hone and share your voice online. He shares his creative journey, his insecurities, his advice on developing a voice online alongside using journal prompts and it's classes like these that I feel can really help boost your confidence and drive as a creative and also provide tools to implement into your own life. So to check out Skillshare's full range of classes, you can as always use my link in description and the first 1,000 people do so will get a one month free trial. It's um, my last week in Florence, which is very strange to say and think about because it kind of just feels like I got here. I guess now that I'm leaving I can finally show you where I live because this apartment has just been such a dream. So that's the Brancacci Chapel just down there. We actually went to visit it last week and so insane. They're doing the restorations of the frescoes. The names of the artists escape me. Anyway, down here at the very bottom we have this Roman arch. I think this is the western one, maybe. And every day. We just sit and people watch and it's just so wonderful. It's Tuesday today. Yesterday was the first day of my last week at painting class, which is kind of sad. Um, I don't know, it just felt like the few months have flown by. Lois and I were talking about it last night. Um, we've had so many people to stay I, and we've both been away also for like a week in between. I think time just escaped us and I don't know, I'm a nostalgic person at heart and I feel like I always get pre preemptively sad um, for things being over before they are. I don't normally do this, like I like to finish things but um, I stopped reading 100 Years of Solitude <laughs> just because I was finding it a bit tedious and I know I should have just parred through because a lot of you guys were like, this is such an amazing book, one of my favourites. But I wasn't really vibing with it, so I put it on the back burner, and Lois is actually reading it and loves it at the moment, but I am currently like a quarter of the way through The Wind-Up Bird Chronicle by Murakami. I don't really remember reading this one, like I remember the start of it, but maybe I didn't finish it, or it was just a long time ago. Um, 
but Lois brought this with her, so I'm reading it. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it before I have to leave. That was actually incredible. I can't believe I actually got to see Michelangelo's Davis. My heart, my little artistic heart. Um, I left it so long, but honestly, I'm kind of glad. I feel like that was the perfect finale to go out on. This looks like a very healthy risotto. Doing some packing and I kind of forgot that I have to somehow transport paintings home. Luckily they dried pretty quickly, but yeah, here's a few things I did. This is a still life. Um what was this one? Oh this is the three graces, which was super fun to do. I don't know. There's something about it which I don't like. I think it's that it's like too pastel. I'm not sure, and I had a little chocolate cannoli. Wow. To share. Oh, that's what I mean Oh, no, she's following me. We've really been um, loyal to Sabrina's up until this point. <laughs> little did we know. Little did we know what we're missing out of. Want to talk? Mm-hmm. The ricotta and pan? Not as good as the pistachio white chocolate. Check out Santa Spirit Church. Maybe go to the flea market. I think we can pack it in. No, you're eventually not. No, the 
Maybe it's mind. too low. Maybe it's too low for you. It's so funny. <laughs> is it one my back is sore? <laughs> uh, was that yesterday? Yeah. Oh god, feels like an itch again. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna go for drinks? Go to Paul. Lois and I have been too many times. <laughs> two months has just been so incredible and I feel like I haven't really been able to process it or like talk about it or debrief you on art classes and stuff. I kind of thought I'd be able to film more but you know I was in like a shared space with other people and I, don't know, I get weird vlogging in public especially in like a classroom situation but being able to live in Florence like what this has just been a dream of mine for so long and honestly the art and architecture and beauty that just exists in people's every day here is insane like this morning we were getting a coffee around Santa Spirito and we went into the church there and it was designed by Brunelleschi and they have like a Michelangelo crucifix there from whenever he was 18 and it's insane that people go to worship in places like that which have just existed for hundreds of years and there's just so much amazing art condensed into Florence obviously because it was like the capital of it for so long anyway I'll give you a little debrief on the school which I went to it's called Accademia del Giglio which I think means Lily in Italian and Lois had gone a few years back she loved the people she said it was like a super chill relaxed environment which was definitely the case and I loved that about it it didn't really feel like there was any pressure everyone was kind of doing their own thing like there were people who were starting from scratch others who were focusing on like frescoes or people who are doing like drawing and painting. I did look into going to other schools but a lot of them were kind of expensive um, and a lot more from the outset it seemed a lot more like structured and maybe more rigorous. There was definitely still a focus on more figurative painting and drawing which I kind of expect to come into Florence so if that's not really your style then I wouldn't recommend but I still really enjoyed it. I think what I got out of it was building the habit of painting every day and the stamina and the discipline with that. But yeah, I'm not sure I'm super happy with anything that I ended up painting, um, but that's okay. It was like a learning experience. And you know, I was only there for seven weeks. Um, it was actually a long time, but we're taking those skills and those habits and we're gonna implement them into our own approach to art and painting. And I think it did really serve as a reminder of how much I just love art. But yeah, if you guys have any more questions, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. But I booked us our last dinner tonight at a new restaurant, which we haven't tried before. And then we're gonna go to one of my favorite wine bars and I'm gonna be sad to be leaving Lowe's. There is our apartment right there. That's where our windows. No!
This is a question for y'all. <laughs> what? Leave a comment down below. <laughs> Guys! Would you prefer a Negroni Aperol Spritz or a espresso martini? <laughs>